Hi, Tamarack friends. I am excited to move and breathe with you today. I'm gonna to tell you more about our class as we get settled on our mats. So find a comfy seat. You can sit crisscross or kneel. Get really curious about your breath. Notice how it feels as you breathe in and out. In and out. See if you can find that good, healthy breath in and out through your nose. And notice that with just a few breaths, your body and your brain begin to relax. We're gonna move with our breath. I'll tell you a little more. So just do what I'm doing. We're gonna start with some arm raises. You breathe in as you reach up, breathe out as you lower down, and again. I've been thinking a lot about travel. Big breath in, reach up. We're gonna bend to one side. Keep your bottom on the floor so you get that big side bend. Now I know that we're all staying at home to be safe, but I love thinking about different ways that we can get around. So today's class, we're gonna switch sides. We are going to explore different vehicles and means of transportation using our breath and our bodies in our imaginations. You could take a train, right? So see if you can move your shoulders and arms like a train. Forward. And back. You could take a helicopter, find your big, strong propeller arms, sit up tall, breathe and twist. Just like a helicopter propeller. We're gonna make our way up to stand, warm up our bodies, because every kind of transportation has different energy, right? And we fuel up by breathing and moving. So find mountain pose. We're gonna do a couple of sun salutations here. Get ready, you guys know this. Big breath in, reach, breath out, fold. Breath in, monkey pose. As you breathe out, your hands plant, step back to plank, and you lower down. Breath in, cobra. Breath out, downward facing dog. Step your feet up to the top. Monkey pose. Forward fold, reach up, reach out. Guess what? We're going right into the next one. Fold forward, monkey. Hands press, step back, lower down. Cobra, breath out, dog. Step your feet up to your hands. Find monkey, fold, big breath in, arms reach up. We're gonna fold into one more, come on down. Monkey pose, plant your hands, step it back, lower down, cobra, downward facing dog. Now if you're by yourself doing this yoga class, you can just stay in down dog for a few breaths. If you have family around who wants to help, or if they're doing yoga with you, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to do a downward dog tunnel and drive your train right through it. So everyone gets into down dog and takes turns driving their train through the tunnel. might need to belly crawl to get under the kids. Remember to breathe. Laughing is good too. When you're ready, come stand at the top of your mat and find mountain pose.
Let's check out skateboarding, okay? So we're gonna get around on a skateboard. You're gonna step one leg back. Your toes are pointing up towards the long edge of the mat, your back toes front, toes pointing in front of you. Big bend in your knees, reach your arms out and look over your fingertips, warrior two on your skateboard. Step to the top of your mat and switch sides. Remember, big step back, back toes towards the long edge, front toes pointing forward, look over your fingertips and breathe. So that was a pretty fun skateboard ride, wasn't it? Now let's check out a vehicle that you might see on a construction site. Cranes, lift and lower material. We're going to come to triangle pose. So this time you're gonna step your foot back, but your front leg stays straight. You reach and then you're going to extend and tip Lower down, triangle pose, strong crane. Now see if you can lift up the material that you just brought down. Big breath in, you're gonna reverse your triangle. And when you're ready, Step to the top of your mat. We have another side to do. So, step the opposite leg back. Both legs are straight and strong. Your back toes are pointing up to the side. Your front toes are pointing in front of you. Arms out. Now you're gonna stretch from your hips, extend, and get ready to lower your crane triangle pose. All right, we're gonna lift it all back up. Remember, next big breath in, reverse. All right, pretty cool, huh? Step to the top of your mat. Look, it's a bird. It's a plane, no, really. It's a plane. We're going to do some balancing. Come to warrior three. So let one foot get really heavy as the other foot gets so light. Remember when we balance, helps to look at a spot that's not moving. Strong breath. You can press your hands together at your heart as you take your airplane tail back and you can stay right here or take your wings out. Come in for your landing, and we're gonna switch sides. Stand up tall and strong, get ready, and take that leg back. Stretch out your airplane tail, maybe your wings, and breathe. And come back in for your landing. So you guys, all of this balancing that we do in yoga, it helps us balance when we're doing other things, like riding a scooter. Let's check it out. So if you're gonna ride your scooter, you gotta push off to get going, right? And then you're gonna take one foot up. This is your crane pose. Here we are on our scooters. You can stay right here, or if you're feeling kind of fancy, you can try dancer pose. So one hand reaches back, to grab that leg and you lean forward. Promise me, you'll never do this on a real scooter, only on your imaginary yoga scooter. And let's park that one. Give yourself a little wiggle and other side. Got to push off on your scooter, ready? Stay right here or dance your pose. Park 
park your scooter, you know what else? We, we could ride a bus. So chair pose, your big toes touch, your legs squeeze together. You find this imaginary seat behind you. Strong breath, strong bodies. You could sing wheels on the bus here if you want. I'm not going to sing, but if I was singing, I'd tell you that I'm staying in my chair pose. I start feeling this in my legs, maybe in my tummy and back a little, and my wheels go round and round, right? And if that driver tells me to move on back, I can find a big twist here, move on back. And I move on back. And I move on back. And what else might happen on your bus? Oh, there's white, right? They could go swish for swish. The doors might go open and shut. The baby's going, oh, well, I just take care of them. It's okay. Bus rides are super fun. And of course, we all go up and down. That was quite a bus ride. Make your way down to a seat. How else can we get around? You could drive a car. Safety first, always put on your seatbelt. Okay, so get buckled in. Your legs are out long in front of you. Your feet are flexed. You're sitting up tall and you're driving and breathing. If you wanna grab like a big red, huge truck, just get a bigger steering wheel, right? You could take a boat. Boat pose, your knees bend, and your feet are on the floor. Your hands can be on the floor, fingers pointing towards your bottom. No elbows on the floor, no backs on the floor. This is all about a strong back, strong tummy, your whole core and your breath. Your feet come up, maybe take your arms up, maybe you wanna row your boat right here. Or you just hang out. How else could we explore? You could ride a bike. Lie down on your back and just move your pedals here. And then let your feet come down. Knees are bent. Let's ride our bike right over this bridge. Bridge pose, your feet are pressing into the floor. Your shoulders and head are on the floor. Hips lift towards the sky. And after all of this exploring and all of this moving around, you can come back and rest. And it's so nice to know that you have all kinds of ways to get around and it's so good and so sweet after all of that moving and going and doing to give your body and your breath permission to get so still and peaceful as you let yourself relax. Feel your body on your mat. Feel your breath in your body. Gently deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Move and stretch 
in a way that feels good to you. And as you're ready, you can roll onto one side and gently come back to a seat. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I wish you great adventures, lots of fun moving and exploring, and lots of wonderful rest. Thank you, I'll see you soon.